Hi everyone, this is Learning with Linda, and today I bring you the SNAP emergency allotment payout dates for the month of September. We have 41 states that have been approved, and also, what can you do once your SNAP emergency allotment ends? Stay tuned to ensure that you receive this information. Now, before we get started, if you are interested in the latest news regarding stimulus, child tax credit, SNAP, PEBT, and everything in between, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. Now let's get right to it. So now that SNAP emergency allotments are coming to an end, recipients could see their benefits take a sharp drop. But there are some things beneficiaries can do to prepare for lower SNAP benefits. Here is one way to prepare for the end of the emergency SNAP allotment, and that could be by going to your local food bank or food pantry. Now, you may be asking yourself, what is the difference between a food bank and a food pantry? So a food bank is the storehouse for millions of pounds of food and other products that go out to the community. A food pantry functions as the arms that reach out to that community directly. So today I bring you three resources that could be helpful to you when attempting to find a local food bank or a food pantry. So one of the resources I have here for you today is called findhelp.org. I will be putting the link in the video description. Now, let me just mention that with this website, sometimes you're able to find local food pantries. It also gives you the option to have food delivered to your home. However, it seems like most of the resources I have found at least require you to call to the number that they provide you with. So it's probably gonna take a little bit of, of calling for you to get um, the information in terms of pickup times or getting more information about the local food bank or even the food pantry. Now, let me show you how this website works. So once you go on the website, it asks you for a zip code. So let's enter the following zip code for those in Texas. So let's put 77008. And you go ahead and click search. And once you do that, you see here 2,755 programs that have been found. And then up here, it gives you a couple of categories. So I know today we're talking about food, but it does give you the options for food, housing, goods, transit, health, money, care, education, work, and legal. Um, keep in mind, these are all resources. So once again, let's go back to food. And here it gives you several options. Um, emergency food is one of them, food delivery and food pantry. So in this situation, for example, let's click emergency food. So once you click search, you're able to see here the different options that you have. So for example, it's a food pantry. It gives you information regarding the main services. Uh, this one would be emergency food, food pantry. And then it also gives you information for the people that they are currently serving. So in this case, it's anyone in need, all ages. But I have seen some resources that are specifically for those who are 65 and over or even homeless. So the next resource I have here is the foodpantries.org. I actually really like this website because I feel like it provides you with options that are fairly close to where you reside. So let me show you how it works. So once you go on the website, you, it asks you to select a state. I'll go ahead and click Florida in this situation. And once you click that, you scroll down and it asks you about your city. So for example, let's take Clearwater. And once you, you go ahead and scroll down, it gives you several different options. So for example, here we have the RS, RCS Food Bank. It gives you the, um, the address here if you go ahead and click that and a phone number as well, along with different information. I feel like here you actually get hours of operation um, for the food banks or even the food pantry. So it gives you a little more detailed compared to the uh, a little more details compared to the previous website that I had shown you. Now let's go ahead and try it for those living in the state of New York. So once again, you need to go ahead and scroll down and here you're able to see the cities in New York. So let's try Almond. And once you go ahead and click that, here you see the Almond Area Food Pantry. 
Um, it gives you access to the website, the full address. If you click this button, there's even an email option and there's tons of information regarding um, the hours that they're going to be um, you know, open in terms of providing this food, uh, which says here Tuesday, Thursdays and Fridays, and it gives you the, the hours as well. And the third resource I have found is called Feeding America. I will be putting the links to all these resources in the video description box. Now, through this website, you're able to find your local food banks. Now, keep in mind that your local food banks may actually not be as close as you would think they are, um, but this is an additional resource that I'm providing you with. So let me show you how the website works. Once you go to feedingamerica.org, you click find a food bank. Once you do that, it's going to ask you to search by zip code or by state. So let me enter the following zip code 30305 for those in Georgia, Atlanta. And here you have the Feeding America food bank that serves this specific area. Here you have the address and the website, um, and it's going to even offer you volunteer opportunities in case you're interested. So once again, it's the only resource that's really serving this specific zip code. Um, once again, it's, it's kind of limited, um, but anyways, I hope it's helpful to you. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that your local church could possibly be providing food to those in need. In my experience in my community, my local church offers not just canned goods, but also fresh produce, things like peanuts. I've seen them even provide uh, milk and eggs, you know, and other items that could potentially be useful. So make sure you check out your local church to see if they're actually providing food to those in need. Moving on to the SNAP emergency allotments for the month of September. Keep in mind, some states are issuing payments one month after, which could even be the month of October. Let's start with Alabama issuing payment on September 29th, Arizona September 1st through the 2nd, California October 23rd, Colorado September 7th through September 11th, Connecticut September 17th, the state of Delaware issuing payment on September 29th, District of Columbia regular issuance schedule, Georgia September 27th through September 30th, Hawaii October 11th, and the state of Indiana is issuing payment only on the odd days between September 5th through the 23rd. Illinois issuing payment between September 22nd through September 30th, Iowa, September 1st through September 10th, Kansas, October 15th through October 24th, Kentucky, September 2nd through September 19th, Louisiana issuing payments on September 3rd, September 10th, September 17th, and September 24th. Maine is issuing payment on September 10th, Maryland, September 1st through September 30th, Massachusetts, issuing payment on October 4th, Michigan, September 25th through October 4th, Mississippi, September 2nd. Next, we have New Hampshire issuing payment on September 5th, September 21st, or October 19th. New Jersey, September 1st through September 5th. New, for those living in New York City, September 16th through the 17th, September 20th through the 24th, and September 27th through the 29th. And then for those in rest of state districts, supplements will be issued on September 13th through the 16th and September 20th through the 23rd. Next, we have North Carolina issuing payment between September 22nd and October 1st. Ohio, September 27th. Oklahoma, September 10th through September 15th. Oregon will be issuing three rounds, round one on September 10th, round two on September 29th, and round three on October 1st. Pennsylvania issuing payment between September 16th through the 18th, September 21st through the 25th, and then the 28th through the 29th. Rhode Island, September 3rd. South Carolina issuing payment on September 1st through September 19th. Next, we have South Carolina 
issuing payment between September 1st through September 19th, Tennessee, September 1st through September 20th, Texas, September 7th through September 13th, Utah, September 26th, Vermont, October 14th, Virginia, September 16th, and then for those in the state of Washington will be on a regular issuing schedule. West Virginia, September 9th, and a final run on October 13th. Wisconsin, September 25th, and Wyoming will be issuing payments based on the first letter of your last name. So A through D, September 2nd, E through K, September 3rd, L through R, September 4th, and S through Z, September 5th. So I'll quickly be going over the SNAP emergency allotments for the month of August, only because some states are still issuing payments in the month of September. Those states are bolded. So let's start with the state of Alabama issuing payment on September 1st, California September 4th, and Hawaii issuing payment on September 13th. Next, we have Kansas issuing payment on September 15th through the September 24th. Massachusetts issuing payment on September 2nd. Minnesota will be issuing payment between September 8th through the 9th, the 13th through the 16th, September 20th through the 23rd, and September 27th through the 30th. And the final state we have is Vermont issuing payment on September 15th. And that is all the updates that I have for today. Remember to turn on your notifications button to know when I have uploaded a new video. See you next time.